Hi, everybody. It's hard to believe it's already been a year since I was last here, sitting on these rocks at Eastern Point Retreat House in Gloucester. It is so good to be back. Well, rocks seem to be a focus in these recent videos. And the rocks I am sitting on, of course, really can't be put into Jean's jar of rocks but there are definitely similar symbols in both reflections. As I have come away from the world for a week, I contemplate my own rock symbols. This place in general is a stabilizing force for me. It helps ground me with the Lord. It's so easy for me to see God forces at work all around me the movement of the sea, sometimes a ripple, other times a wild constant display of waves, and then the steady, steadiness and majesty of the rocks that encircle it all. So what is God showing me? Yes, my life, especially this summer, has sometimes been like a ripple. And most recently has been a bit wild and calling me to respond to situations at hand. And yet, God, my rock, anchors me, even when I have been least aware. My spiritual director the first night said to me, pray with all that has happened recently in your life and ask God to show you how he is calling you closer to him through it all. Words of wisdom. So what do we do with all of this? In this most troubling of all times, and uncertainty is definitely going to be our future. We are different and yet we are one. I know for me, God has made it abundantly clear that he is ever faithful, ever present, ever loving. I cannot get through life situations without my Lord, sustaining me through all the upheaval and sometimes sadness. In one of Father Bill's homilies last week, he asked the question, who is God to you? Is he a God of faithfulness or is he a God of convenience? You know, I've really prayed with that, asking Jesus to increase my faithfulness and lessen and forgive my distance. As I have had this precious gift of time to reflect, I recall a daily, daily habit that I've had for years now, such a habit I don't think anything of it, it's just like brushing my teeth. In my morning prayer, from the depths of my spirit, I always, always thank Jesus for my blessings. The Lord, has been so good to me. I began this years ago when a scripture reading struck me. I have dedicated my life to gratefulness. So in conclusion, I'd like to end with a little bit of this reading. It's from the first, the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter three. Because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. Clothe yourselves with heartfelt mercy, with kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, forgive one another, grievances you might have against one another. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Over all these virtues put on love, which binds the rest together and makes them perfect. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. The word of the Lord.